Have you ever gone to your email to find that you have email with a picture in it? When you open the email, you get this huge picture on your screen. You have to scroll around from left to right and up and down just to see pieces of the picture. What causes this is that the digital cameras today shoot pictures in such high resolution that it makes them way too big for an email screen. This picture here was taken with a 6.0 megapixel camera and as you can see it's very large for the screen. Actually if I wanted to print this picture out the resolution is so good I could print it out in poster size. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to change the size of a picture for email so that when your family and friends open the email they'll get a much better picture to look at. This is very easy to do once you learn how to resize a picture. If you learn how to resize a picture when your family and friends open an email, they'll get a picture like this. Easy to look at, fits on the screen, looks great in email. The first thing you need to do is open up the picture that you want to resize for email. I've opened up the picture of the Christmas tree that I'm going to send my family and friends. The next thing you need to do just take your arrow and go up here to image. Under image you will see resize. Go to resize and then in the options for resize choose image size. That will bring up an options box that looks like this. Go to the bottom of the options box and make sure that all three of these check marks are checked into these boxes. I have found that the best size picture for sending in an email is a 5x7. So I'm going to go up here to the width and I am going to change that width to 7. And that will already automatically change the whole proportions of the picture for me. If you'll notice it changed this down here to 5x6. Now the next thing you need to do, as you recall, I told you that the resolution of the picture is way too big for email. So we're going to reduce that. So if you come here to the resolution box and you change whatever resolution is in there to 100, that will make your picture turn out the right size for an email. So then you just need to go up and tell it OK. Now if you'll notice, when the picture changed, it got a lot smaller on my screen. That's how much size we've taken that down to to send this out in email. The next step is to save your file. So you need to go up here to File and choose Save As. That will bring your Save As box up. I created a folder named Email Pictures under My Pictures in My Documents. Now you want to save this as a JPEG file down here and if you would like to include this in your organizer, if you use the organizer, click the include an organizer box. I'm not going to save it in the organizer because I'm probably going to delete this file after I've sent the emails I want. So once I name the file, which I'm going to call this Christmas tree email, And then I'm going to click Save. Now you're going to get this JPEG Options box that comes up. Now I always set it to the maximum here. That way I get a good quality picture to send out. And then once you got that set, just tell it OK. Now your picture's in your folder and it's ready to be sent. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. Also, please comment and rate this tutorial when you're finished watching it. Thank you very much.